Hey, what's going on everybody? Jerry with 3DHP. Comgro just sent me out their new Air Assist to try out. So let's open up the box and let's see what we got. Didn't know where my razor knife was, but I got a spatula there. That's going to work just fine. And of course we have paperwork. Love paperwork, but some color pictures. Explains how to set it up on the 5 watt, the 10 watt, all the parts there that come with it. And you can also set this up on other lasers, have some additional parts for different diode lasers. You got a plastic tubing with a brass fitting already on it, ready to go. This has got some roll of tape, that's for using with other heads where you got to wrap them to put the nozzle on. We got some supplied wrenches, zip ties, screws, a couple little adapter plates. Here's a nozzle for the 10 watt, we're hooking up their hose. That's also the nozzle for the 10 watt Comgro. I have a 5 watt that I'll be putting mine on. Here's a nozzle with the bracket for the 5 watt. And there's an adapter for the 5 watt. And then this big doohickey is for another type of laser to mount a mounting bracket. Not really sure what diode laser that goes to. And here we've got the air pump. It's 110. It's got a power adjust, a power control on it. It's got an on and off. And you just simply spin it to give it more air power. And that's got some weight to it. It's nice and beefy. And then an air hose attached where you hook up the brass fitting. You just press it in place. Nice little unit. And let's see. I think that's everything in the box. Yep. That's everything. Get that out of the way and we'll do, uh, there's everything. Let's test out that air pump. You turn it on. You can hear it there. Blowing a little bit of air. So I ran over to the dollar store and I bought a pinwheel so you guys can see the air moving. It's kind of hard to represent air moving on camera, but blowing pretty good. Nice small little stream. And here we got a pinwheel. You can see there. You blowing it real good. Just move it around there. Try to get it speed up a little bit. But yeah, pump works really good. And here's a test burn I'm doing real quick uh, on the Comgro without their assist. Now we take out the four bolts on the sides of the head. There's two on each side. Simply unscrew them. And then you got two plugs there. The you got to unplug both those plugs once you get those four bolts out. Some people only put two bolts in. I keep them all four to keep it perfectly straight. So, I'm going to unplug both those clips. Trying to be careful not to break them. And there we got it all apart. Boy, is that dirty. There's four set screws and little tiny bolts you got to take out. And screw all four little bolts. Yeah, I should take this apart and clean it more often. Some people clean it after every job. I haven't, obviously, I haven't cleaned it in a while. It's got a lot of build up on it. These little IPA and a microfiber towel will work fine. Right there, I'm just using the microfiber, not no out on the IPA. Or I have some, I'm just not using it. And there's a little adapter that goes on for their assist. Now I see the wires in that come out on that one side. You want that air assist, the hole where you hook up the hose, to be on the same side. So we're going to put two supplied screws back in diagonally. You screw this little fitting in it real quick. It screws into the side. you got to kind of get it started. I'm not wearing my glasses, but I'll get it here in a minute. Get that screwed all the way in. There we go. And I'm going to mount that diagram. You turn that around, grab the little bolts, and we're going to screw that in each corner.
the alimenter, just spin them in. Just get them snug and screw into aluminum, so don't get them tight. Just get them snug and then stop. And yep, of course I dropped things. <laughs> At least it landed on the table this time and not on the floor. And snug them up. Now we got to take those two bolts out there on the top. There's a small plate and a large plate. The smaller one is for the 5 watt. The lar larger plate is for the 10 watt. Comgro, Comgo Z1. Those put back in. That's going to hold the air tubing to go down to the nozzle. Oops. And once again, snug those up. Do not get them tight. You don't want to break something. Get them snug and then stop. And wham, bam, that's ready to go. Now we're ready to put it back on the gantry. Remember, plug your two wires back in. Pay attention to which one went where. If you're not sure, take a picture before you start so you know which way they plugged in. Then take your four, th four thumb screws and put them in on each side. And then let's run the tubing. Let's see, down through that hole on the top. And we'll just press into the fitting down below. It's got to kind of route it so you can just get it pressed in. Now it's time for some zip ties. I believe I'm probably put three or four on it to hold it out of the way. You can just attach it to your other wires. That way they kind of move around together. But without air assist you'll get a lot of charring and burning and uh, with air assist, if anything flames up, it'll blow it out. It will reduce any kind of charring. You'll be able to cut deeper because it's blowing the debris out of the way as you cut. So having air assist on a laser, a diode laser is a must, just like all CO2 lasers have them. They're a great feature to have. You don't have to have one, but if you have access to one, they're great. And that there, that's for the 10 watt. It's a fitting that goes on the 10 watt Comgo, the larger stuff. And that roll of tape there is for if you have a different laser where you have to focus it, you wrap that special tape around it, press the nozzle on, and then that's a set screw to bite down into it to put that on. But I won't be using that. And that, and that cover also is for a different type of laser. Not really sure what that's for, but it's not for the Comgos. And there's the fittings there that go on the 10 watt with a longer bracket. As you can see there in the middle one. Alrighty, I don't have a spacer set up, so I'm taking the plastic cover on top of my spacer and I put it down there so I can adjust the height off the bed. So temporarily that'll work. I'm going to run another burn here real quick and see if you can see a big difference. With the here I'm speeding it up a little bit. Let's take a look and see if you can see a noticeable difference. If not, at the end of the video, I have some pictures from Comgro, that, from Comgro, on their Comgo, you can see what the big difference is. And that smoke you see is coming out of the honeycomb bed. I've got it raised up off the steel plate so can, air can get in there and fumes don't build up. And I've done one pass. Uh, Speed was 120, 100% power, one pass. 
left when I done without air assist and the right side I did with air assist. It's kind of hard to see the difference there, but you'll get less charring on your work with air assist. Anything that gets flamed up and will be easier to cut through material if you have air assist because it helps keep, keep the debris up. And here's their pictures here, their pump and everything. But please like, subscribe everybody. Uh, hope you like this quick video. Yeah, there's a picture there. And there are all the parts come with it. You can check it out over on Amazon. Links below in the description for everything you've seen here today.